Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And welcome back to another thrifty video. So earlier this week, I went to the Goodwill outlet, AKA the Goodwill bins where you pay per pound and not per item. I paid a dollar and 79 cents per pound and got four massive bags of clothing, of shoes, things to resell online, Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, things like that. And I showed you guys two of those already. So if you didn't watch the first thrift with me at the Goodwill outlet in Indianapolis, then you should definitely check it out. But now I have the second two bags that I picked up and there's a lot in them. So they are absolutely massive. They are full to the brim. I think in total I paid $90, yes. So we have $45 worth of items to share today and we definitely have a lot more profit than that in those bags. So very exciting. If you guys like thrift with me, if you like bins videos, then make sure to give today's video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. But let's jump in to show you guys the haul of the things that I got for super cheap. Let's do it. Now I mentioned in the last video that I found tons and tons of things folded together that were all really cool embroidered pieces from places like the Quacker Factory. So I still have some more of those including this amazing piece. It has a beehive, it has bees, it has birdhouses and a watering can. Like it is so, so cute. And this has been selling really well for me, these like embroidered really cool pieces. This is from the Quacker Factory, it's in a size 2X. I don't normally pick up this brand, I just don't. And so, um, but I love finding vintage or just really cool embroidered pieces like this. And for me, embroidered pieces like this usually will sell for like close to 50 bucks. So I think I could list this between 35 and 50 and probably make like maybe around 35 on that. And then this one was actually quite exciting. I found this in that pile. It doesn't look kind of like different than the other ones on a first look. But this one is not Quacker Factory. This is actually by the brand Storybook Knits, which is really good. So this brand can do really, really well. So here's the tag for you. So it's hand knit. It's this really intricate, really cool, very unique looking knit piece and knit sweater with all these different colors. And I was looking at comps and a lot of comps for a knit sweater like this from Storybook Knits were selling on Poshmark for 50 bucks and sometimes more. So this sweater we're looking at is like a $50 resale value. And again, this one's heavy, <laughs> it's pretty thick, but with everything I picked up, I paid $90. So just with this in the first piece, we're already probably gonna make all of our money back. And then we have still two more bags Full of items so this is why I love thrifting I just think you can find such amazing pieces and this one is in a size 3x so great size I love a plus size moment anyway but to have this and to have all this really cool embroidery is amazing and then because this was so lightweight I decided to pick it up this piece also came from a Goodwill a lot of times things that come from the Goodwill outlet are coming there because they're excess donations or they didn't sell on the sales floor or there's many different reasons. This is a piece that didn't sell at a Goodwill. They were charging $5 for it and I scooped it up in the bins for probably right around a dollar. It is this black pencil skirt. It has some really fun eyelet detailing, kind of like a lace almost going crossways. But this is a really nice skirt. It's from White House Black Market. It's in a women's size 10. Again, this is a brand that I pass on a lot of the time but I looked up comps for skirts because I hardly ever find skirts from this brand and the comps looked like they were like maybe 25, 35 bucks. So because I was getting so many things for so cheap, I decided to grab that, especially since it was lightweight. And then I found a little Squishmallow. I think this is so cute. It's a little puppy dog. Y'all, Squishmallows have taken the world by storm. They're just so fun, so comforting. And I thought this would be a good pickup. I know Squishmallows, you can sell them. I also, I have my own doggo and I love him. Otis is just such a sweet baby and I don't think he would destroy this. I think he would just cuddle with it. So I'm kind of tempted to give this to my dog, <laughs> but we'll see what happens. I think it's so cute. So got him and I mean, again, probably like right around a dollar for him. And then we got this pair of boots and I had to search those shoe bins for these. My Goodwill outlet, some Goodwill outlets will rubber band your shoes together so that they stay together. That is not the case with the one that I went to in Indy. They literally just, it was just a free for all. There was just shoes everywhere and they were all in different bins and they went together, but you had to find them. It was a lot, but I did happen to find both of these cowboy boots. It took me a hot second. I had one sitting in my cart for quite a while before I found the second, but these are a pair 
of Durango boots. So this is the Rebel by Durango boot. They look like they're in great condition, to be honest. I know that a lot of cowboy boots have kind of like pre-distressing, you know? Sometimes they are made to look a little worn and sometimes the leather just wears in different ways. I think these have barely been worn. They look to be in really good condition and I think that they are gonna do well because they're a nice little brown, dark brown, almost black kind of color combo. And these are Durango in a men's size 11 double E. So it looks like, I think a double E is probably an extra, extra wide. And these are the men's 12 inch Western and Brown. So I have a lot of information and cowboy boots can do pretty well. I'm expecting these to sell for right around 50 bucks. And I think that would be amazing for like maybe a dollar. Again, these are heavy. I got a lot of heavy things, but I still was able to get them for really cheap. So that's great. So I picked up the Squishmallow from the Home Goods section. And I also picked up this from the Home Goods section, but I think that's it. That's all I found like in the Home Good area. I found much more in the clothing bins, but this was a really cool looking backpack. But when I grabbed it, I felt it. I said, this feels great. Like it feels high quality. It feels nice. So I decided to look it up. I put it in my cart and then eventually I looked it up and it is from the brand Sprayground. So that's what it says right there. So kind of like a pun on playground is my assumption. And it has these like teeth kind of looking things on the front. Not my personal cup of tea by any means, but you don't need to like something in order to sell it. So um, I looked up comps and shockingly, this brand can do really well, especially things that had the teeth on them were reselling for over 50 bucks. I saw some selling for like around a hundred. So I'll do more research to figure out exactly how much this one is worth. But I would say on the low end, probably 50 bucks. On the high end, it could go for maybe like 75. And it looks to be in pretty good shape. I'll double check it again, of course, to see if there's anything wrong with it because I didn't give a thorough look over in the bins, but really interesting. And here is the brand once more, Sprayground. I wonder if it has something to do with like graffiti art. Who knows? That's one bag down, one to go. And we have another Quacker factory piece, but guys, look at the cats on this cat sweater. So fun. It has little tails that are falling down. And then it has this like fun, very grandma-esque kind of fluff around the neckline. This is just fun. I just thought it was cute. We have a little like paw print going on on the sleeve. Novelty things like this. Quacker factory does really well. I think it's really adorable. I think for that I can get close to 35, 50 bucks. And then we have another very like, your second grade teacher would probably love this and wear this. It is a denim dress, but it has these really cute kind of Americana kind of um, quilted hearts on it. And it is a, I would say probably midi length dress. We have a cute heart on the pocket. And then I really like this. It has these amazing little leather straps for the shoulders. People are really into this kind of grandma core vibe right now. It's really adorable, hard on the back. This is a size 24W. It was folded in the pile with all of the other like Quacker factory pieces. And it's from Initially Yours. So somebody must have done a custom job on this because it's originally from Hakes, which I've never heard of, but it's definitely a vintage kind of vibe. And then that goes over it, Initially Yours. Very interesting. I think it's a cutie. I think it'll do well. I'm assuming I can probably sell this for 35 to 50 bucks again. And then we have another one. This one I think is from, yeah, Quacker Factory. And this is one of their little denim dresses, a little kind of jumper. And this one is so cute. I think it might be Christmas themed. It's got that little angel on the front and then it comes down again, kind of like a mini length. And it is just such a cute denim dress. I think that this is gonna do well. This one's a 22W, 100% cotton, Quacker factory. And I just thought it was a really fun design. So for Christmas, I think that could be really, really adorable. And then I picked up a pair of Crocs. A lot of Crocs that make it to the bins are just like destroyed and they're not worth picking up. But these ones, look at the bottom. Usually the tread is gone. This one had good tread still. They're black. They say the Crocs on the side. They're the ones that have the fluffy interior and they're in a women's size eight, men's size six. There's a little bit of something white here on the top. I think if I wash it, it'll come off. It looks kind of like it's from like snow or something, but I thought they were in good condition, probably like 20, 25 bucks for those. And probably right around the same for this pair too. I know that this brand moves really well. It's a fit flop pair of shoes. 
found those in the second the shoe rotation I stayed for they have this really kind of fun golden kind of bronze sequin on the thong sandal and then really good shape on the bottom these are in really good condition and they're US size 7 I've sold quite a few pairs of flip-flops they usually go pretty quickly I think 25 for those as well and now these are a great find this is a little bit crazy looking but these are great boots this is a great bolo this is the original muck boot so this is the muck boot company these are the chore boots these things are heavy i'm sure a lot of my costs probably came from these boots but these are expensive boots so these definitely have some dirt on the bottom but the nice thing is these should clean up really well i'm gonna just have to take them outside and like scrub <laughs> But the bottoms are in great condition. The whole boot itself is sturdy, super nice, really high quality for actually doing work. And they look to be in amazing shape. So I grabbed these real quick. I saw them come out in the shoot rotation. I was like, oh yeah. I found one and then I found the other. They're a women's size 11 or a men's size 10. And these are made for like heavy duty working. And so I know so many people would really like these. I know originally, I think these cost well over $100. It might be $200. I think for a good comp for me, for selling them on Poshmark or eBay, I think I can sell them for at least $50, if not more. Maybe it's $75. That would be great. They are black. They're the most popular style. Once I clean them up, if they look in amazing shape, I'm real happy that these, I think these will do really well. I really do. So nobody else wanted them because they were covered in dirt and I was like, heck yeah, I will take those and I will sell them after I try to clean them up. <laughs> and then something really exciting. I actually, I found these when I first got there. They were about to flip the store. I went through the shoe bin and I happened to find this pair of shoes and I only found one and then I searched and searched until I found the second one. But this is a great bolo. They should do really well too. It is this pair of black leather shoes and they are from Choppers Inc. So there's the Choppers logo on the inside there. They have this interesting white coloring, like this white design on the toes, which is really neat. And then on the bottom, the tread is great and it says Shasha. So apparently Choppers Inc. is by Shasha. I don't know everything about every brand, but when I saw these, I was like, oh, these are so cool. I can imagine, these are really big for a girl, but I can imagine a girl wearing these with little like socks with a ruffle, you know, like kind of like a hard and soft kind of dichotomy. But these are really cool and the comps look great. These are in a size 13. So they're really, they're kind of big. <laughs> they're men's 13 pretty large but they're in great condition i was looking at comps i think i can sell these for at least i don't know at least 50 maybe 75 to 100 really cool pair of shoes and they are leather so they're really nice and then the very last thing that i picked up the last piece from both hauls is this pair of lululemon leggings i grabbed these i felt them i said oh that feels like lululemon and then i saw the logo on the back here i got real excited because i love selling lululemon it is such a great brand. These ones are definitely an older pair, but they are a style that is really popular right now. So they are a yoga legging and then they have the flared leg on the bottom. So they look to be in great shape. There's like hardly any pilling in the gusset. There's generally no wear to it. And then I know at the top here, it's kind of a gray combination and the inside is neon green. I think they're kind of fun. So I found the little size tag on the inside. If you didn't know, inside the pockets, you can find the size tag. This is a pair of size six leggings. Now, because there's no numbers going in a circle around it, that's how you know it's an older piece, probably like pre-2012. But I do think I can still sell these since they're full length and flared for probably like close to 50 bucks. Amazing. All of those pieces were so good and I'm so excited that I found so many good things on my first time trying out my new bins in my new home, my new area, and I think it went pretty well. I'm hoping to next time maybe take my GoPro with me and do a little bit of covert filming with my GoPro. We'll see what, how it goes, but if you guys liked this, then make sure to give today's video a thumbs up. Let me know down below which piece was your favorite. Was it in this haul? Was it in the first half? If you haven't seen the first half, go watch that next. I'll take you into the bins with me for that one. But I think that was pretty productive. It felt pretty successful and I'm really happy I got to take you guys with me. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and until the next video, bye.